Free your spirit, free your mind. Let your soul hear it, your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, welcome back. My name is Ava Nichols. We've been reading a psalm a day. We're finishing up part two of 83 of Psalm. Amen. I thank God for Psalms. I love me some Psalms. Amen. And Psalms has been a blessing to my life. Amen. Uh, when I'm going through trials and tribulations and just don't know, Lord, I need a word. I need to hear from you. The Lord will give me a psalm. And I, I, I thank God for psalms. There's praises. There's prayers. There's um, poetry. Uh, there's, there's so much in psalm that will bless your life. Amen. That it will help you through your storms in your life, through your, your attacks. Uh, from different obstacles in your life. Amen. God will give you a psalm. All you have to do is ask him. He'll give you a word. Anything in the Bible is good, but I'm just saying, it's helped me. Psalms has been a blessing. I, I love me some psalms. Amen. Amen. Today we're going to start with ver uh, verse 9 of uh, Psalms 83. And this is the last half of it. And it reads, Due, due to them... And what he's doing, uh, we'll go uh, before eight, uh, at nine. He, what he was doing is talking about the different tribes that were coming up against, that was going to come up against God's people. And it reads, verse nine, due to them as to Midianites, as to Caesarea, as to Sarah, and as to Jabin, at the brook of Kishon, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Orab and like Zeab. Zeab, I'm sorry. All the princes of Zeab, Zabath, and as Zalmona, Zalmona, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. Oh my God, make them like a wheel as the stubble before the wind, and as the fire burns a wood, as the flame sets the mountains on fire. So persecute them with your tempest and make them afraid with your storm. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek your name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish. That men may know that you whose name alone is Jehovah are the most high over all the earth. Amen. Thank God for the blessed reading of the word of God. Amen. And so, I'm assuming this is David talking to God again. Now, David wrote majority of the Psalms, and then uh, Moses wrote some as well. Um, so, David talked to God a lot. We've, we said this in the day, David talked to God a lot. And this is something that we need to do as well. We need to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord. Amen. And you can talk to God just like David talked to God, like I talked to God. He's closer than a friend. Amen. And verse 9, it reads, to, Due to them, as to the Midianites, and as, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kisan. So he said, God, do to them like you did to those, like you did to those tribes. Um, you know, what you did to Kashan and what you did to uh, Sisera. Evidently, he must have destroyed them. And then verse 10, which perished in Endor, and they became as dung for the earth. Yes, he, they did, because they came as uh, a refuge. They, they were nothing. Amen. And then verse 11. 
Okay, verse 10, it's saying, uh, they perished and endured, they became as dung on the earth. So he did that at Endor at their bodies and, and, and those people they rotted to the ground so they were no more. Amen. Verse 11 Make their nobles like Orab and like Z Zeab, yea, all their princes as Zaboth and Zalmon, Zalmona. And so he just said, God, uh, do that. Uh, to the, the important leaders, you know, what you did to uh, the Orab and Zeb and all the princes of Zaboth and, and, and Zedemunah. He said, make, you know, do that to, their, to those important folks as well. In verse 12, who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession? Those people, they were wanting to take, um, they were wanting to um, take them for themselves, the pasture, the lands that, that belong to God. So they were trying to steal from the Lord. And, and of course, God didn't let that happen. And then in verse 13, he said, Oh my God, make them like a wheel as the stubble before the wind. And so he just said, Lord, you do what you have to do. You know, make these people just like a tumbleweed, like, uh, like something just being blown in the wind, like she just being blown by the wind. Just to burn them up, get rid of them. And see, this is something that we the, the Lord can do away with your enemies. You can talk to God, amen, and let him know how you feel. It's, you can talk to God just like you're talking to your spouse or talking to your, your pastor. If you can't get your pastor, talk to God, amen. Even if you can get to your pastor, we need to learn how to depend on God and talk to him, amen, so we can learn his voice. Because you may not be able to get in contact with anyone else. You don't have to go to a priest anymore. You can go direct to the throne room. And so he's going on saying in 14, as the fire burns a wood and as the flame sets the mountain on fire. So he's just describing, God, what you need to do to these people, to these evil folks that's trying to take your land, trying to take from God's people. And then verse 15, it reads, So persecute them with your tempest, and make them afraid with your storm. He just letting them know, God, do what you have to do. Chase them, you know, get rid of these people. Chase them with your storms. You know, and frighten them with your wind. See, God controls everything. Amen. And that's what he was he was talking to God. Just God, do something with these people. You know what to do, God. You can get rid of them with your wind. You can burn them up. Get rid of them. That's how he was feeling because he, he was tired. He was going through so much in his life. He was just, he was worn out, running every day, trying to find uh, safety. Verse 16, and then he said, fill their faces with, with shame and that they may seek your name. So he was just saying, God, bring them down. Bring these people down. Cover them with shame that they'll... Um, then the people will look for you, Lord. He just said, God, do something so they, they'll uh, uh, cover with shame and, 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 and hopefully they'll uh, start looking for you for help. He, in other words, he was praying for those people. Even though he was angry with them, he said, God, bring them to shame. Do something. Bring them down to their knees. You, you know, I know I've done that. I said, Lord, just, just bring them. Pray for these. Get these people down to their knees so they can just cry out to you, Lord. Because sometimes, you know, when you praying for your family and they just everybody's all in a uh, going this way and that way and God's been trying to get their you know they keep getting away with stuff and and I'll say Lord just bring them to their knees God sometimes you get that way verse 17 let them be confounded and troubled forever yea let them be put to shame and perish so you just saying Lord uh, make them afraid, uh, ashamed forever, uh, bring disgrace on them and destroy them, get rid of these enemies, I'm, I'm tired of them, I'm tired of dealing with them, I'm tired of running, I'm tired of going, you know, trying to get some peace, you know, so when you talk, you can talk to God, amen, verse 18, that men may know you whose name alone is Jehovah, are the most high over the over all over all the earth, 
And so what he's saying, so these men, God, destroy that flesh, destroy that spirit on them. Um, let them be put to shame and perish, God, that men may know, may know that you, whose name alone is Jehovah, are the most high over all the earth. Amen. So that's the thing right there. We need to pray that God, that you will uh, make these men know that your name alone is Jehovah. Amen. The only one whose name alone is Jehovah are the, are the most high over all the earth. Amen. We're not talking about no other God, but Jehovah, all, that name all alone. Amen. So thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. If you haven't accepted Christ, you need to repent first. Ask the Lord, uh, let the Lord know you're sorry and confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord in Romans 10, 9. Thank We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor A.V. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry. We'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. If you got any questions, Need prayer, 702-505-9697, or email Ava Nichols, the number one, at yahoo.com. You can find us on YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K-N-O-W-N-S-O-U-L-D-I-E-R, the number 8. Soul.biz. 